In this video, we are going to learn the basics of Google Jamboard. Google Jamboard is a digital whiteboard in G Suite apps. It is where you can write and draw, insert Google images or web pages, post sticky notes, and share with collaborators. It is commonly used for showing math problem solution, labeling parts of an object, and any situations that you will need collaboration. There are several ways in opening Google Jamboard. The first way is to go to your address bar and type in google.com. Sign into your account and on the right side, click the Google Apps Launcher and select Jamboard. The second method is to go to jamboard.google.com. The third option is to go to your Google Drive, select the New button, and then look for Google Jamboard. Those are the different ways in order for us to access Google Jamboard. In this video, I will be joined by Justin. He is going to introduce the different tools that we can use in Jamboard. Later, I will demonstrate examples to show how Jamboard can be used in conducting online classes. Open your web browser and type jamboard.google.com. Once you get there, in order to create a new jam, you just have to click this plus button on the bottom right corner. And if you want to put title on your work, you can click on the top left corner and type your desired project your desired title so now let's put project so as you can see on the left side these are the tools that you can use when you click the first button you can choose what writing material to use you can either use pen marker highlighter or brush you can also choose the color of the ink that you wanted to use so now let's pick a uh, blue and let's try writing. Next is the erase tool used to remove unnecessary markings. So this is how it functions. And the third button is the select button, button which we will discuss later. The fourth one is the sticky note. Once you click it, a small menu will open and you can type there anything and also you can choose the color of the sticky note. Now, let's type aircraft and let's see, let's pick yellow. Okay. As you can see, there's a sticky note placed on your board. You can move it to different locations through the use of the select tool. And also, you can resize it by clicking on its edge and also you can rotate it. You can also click on this button in order to edit, duplicate, and delete the sticky note. The fifth button is the add image. So here you can place a, an image on your work. You could either upload or Google's use Google image search so now let's use Google image search and let's try searching for aircraft drawing once you see your desired image just click it click it and click select and now you can see there's the image on your jam board just like the sticky note you can move it resize it or even rotate it the last button is the laser this is useful whenever you are presenting your work to other people. When you click it, a laser pointer will appear and you can use it to emphasize the important information while you are presenting. Let's say you have already filled your board with lots of writings. You can add another board to start again with the fresh one by present, pressing this button. Now you have two boards and you can go back and forth by pressing the arrow buttons. You can also add backgrounds to your board like this one that will serve as your guide while writing. There's a lot of options 
for backgrounds. And this button lets you clear the whole frame and its contents rather than just erasing it one by one. Another great feature of Google Jamboard is that you can share your work to other people. Through that, people can collaborate on your work so that your classmates and you can work together in real time. You can do it by clicking the share button at the upper right. Here, you can type the email of the people you wanted to share your work with. And also, you can edit the restriction to anyone with the link. It means that any person who has the copy of the link of your work can access it. When you are done, you can click this button beside the share and here you will be given an option to rename your work, download your work, or even save your frame as an image. So, and even remove, make a copy, and update and send feedbacks. Thank you, Justin. Now let me share how we can integrate Google Jamboard to our online classes. Here are some examples. Let us show how Jamboard can help in showing solutions to math problems. You can use Google Jamboard to show your solutions. Let's say you have a problem and you want to show to your students or to your classmates if you are a student what the solution is. In this frame, I have three sticky notes. The first two served as labels. And this one is the problem statement. And this is written on a sticky note that is transparent. To show solution, I am going to use the pen tool and select marker. Let's say I would like to use the black color. And here on the right side, I will write the solution. To have a more legible writing, you may use stylus. Let's say the current value is 2.5 amperes. I am going to use a different color so that my students can easily see where I am getting the value. And let's have another color for the other given value. And let's go back to the black color to show what's the final output. So the product is 30 and the unit is wall. I will go back to the pen tool and choose highlighter for me to emphasize the correct answer. And that's how simple we use Google Jamboard to demo the solution to a math problem. Let's have another example. This frame has one sticky note and an image. I am going to label its parts. I will use pen and select the highlighter and pick this color. For me to encircle, draw arrow, and write the name of that part. So let's say this is a mouse. Let's use another color. To write the name of this part. Another color for this one. Finally, the last part is this. That's another use of Google Jamboard. Now let's have another example. In this example, I have a frame that has directions for students to follow. Directions are written on sticky notes. This first frame serves as an example of what is expected from students. For collaboration, go to Share button. Enter the email address here. You may also enter Google Group email address. Once done, click the Done button. 
If the instruction is clear and the student is ready to collaborate, they may press the next symbol above. Here, the students are given direction to write their name and then attach a picture of what characterizes the first generation of computers, for example. Same instruction for the second generation of computers on this third frame. Same instruction for the third generation on the fourth frame, fourth generation of computers for the fifth frame, and fifth generation of computers for the last frame. I hope this walkthrough will help you in using this amazing tool for class demo and collaboration. I hope this walkthrough will help you in using this amazing tool for class demo and collaboration. Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Please consider liking and sharing this video too. Again, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. Thank you all for watching.